gotta be fucking kidding. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No. Is there not someone that's been with FNF since October 2020? I'm not sure how I can confidently explain this. But. It just feels like. It feels like af sometime after I did my Bob and Bosip drama video, it just seems that now every mod is getting into drama. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Some of these dramas are- I didn't even bother because I- I even posted a comment that the Bob and Bosip drama gets- If Bob and Bosip gets into one more drama, I swear to god I'm gonna make a timeline video explaining the whole fucking thing because- Dear god! It is a mess! I definitely need all the credible sources, as well as searching back through old videos that Captain Jack Attack did on the Bomb of drama to make a comprehensive timeline of what happened. Now that, that, there's more drama. Apparently, Neon Light, who you know for his But Everyone Sings videos, is apparently in drama as well. Why? I have no idea because I've never been bothered, so... I don't know. That's especially bad. Neon light is in drama. Yet another Friday, yet another Funkin' Night, which, well, that was a Friday Night Funkin' game on Roblox that was just like Funky Friday. I don't know why it got banned. Sadmouse.avi was exposed and apparently was sent to remove, but it's still on Funky Friday, so yeah, affects a lot for working now. Then I see drama, May May's for days, too many chances, the Bob and Buster drama is still getting to controversy. Literally, this this Bob and Buster drama video, well worst details found, this was literally posted no more than half a week and a half ago. Ref and Koro Modicha, the Friday Night Funkin' creator who got exposed for being a predator. The the FNF community is mad about Dave and Bambi. Now, here's the thing. I love the Dave and Bambi mod, mostly because it spawns so many characters and mostly the fact that the songs are up my alley. It, I'm somewhat good at FNF, but you don't know this, but I'm also a spammer. I mean, it's obvious if you've seen my Funky Friday videos, but yes, I am a spammer. I'm someone that likes to spam the keys, I know. You'd probably be saying, you should get better at the game. Well, here's the thing. You should accept the fact that... It, except, you should just accept the fact that stuff like this has to exist. But sometimes, I just wish that stuff like this drama didn't exist. And I wish these creators weren't such a bunch of assholes. More drama. And apparently, FNF modders don't care about their source material. You sure? Because some FNF mods do care about the source material, which is fine. Golden Apple FNF drama be like, yeah, sure, why not? Big Roblox FNF drama, Funky Friday, and Friday Night Blocks in, apparently it's some drama. Oh, here's an old one. Ninja Muffin responds to the Friday Night Funkin' drama. And Ninja Muffin says, whites only, kill all black people. Bruh, that's racist. That's incredibly racist as hell. Why do you say kill all black people? That's just mean. That's not being very appropriate. Ninja Muffin? No, Ninja Muffin. Young man, you need to behave yourself. That's not very appropriate of you. It's racism. Huh, even the YouTuber Speed got into some controversy. I've seen Speed, and Speed is the guy that talks about a bunch of real tons of FNF drama. So he's like the main guy to get the source and provides all the information, unlike Captain Jack Attack, which pr proceeds to drop some of the more important details that are required. You know, in the order to are mod mechanics doomed? I have no idea. Big F and F drama. Another developer exposed animation deleted. Uh, blue EX animation. F and F devs attack modders on Twitter. Drink KDev and Kawaii Sprite. Goodbye, Bob and Bo Sip. No, it was sad. I kind of like Bob and Bo Sip. And I still kind of do, but after the drama, I just don't think I can ever see him more without, you know, 
thinking of a more being a sexual predator. Oh dear lord. FNF fan them be like, FNF shippers were not every actual ghost, literal monster, fucking demon are LGBTQ, RSTU, VWX, Y plus, minus, question mark. What the f- Oh, God, even a whole bunch. What is this? Colsan hates community game. Really? Community game has just been a silent person. I have no idea who runs community game. But they seem like a nice person. Well, it's just non-commentary videos and just letting the gameplay explain for himself. Colsan. My favorite target I hate. Colsan. Anyone who remembers... Anyone who probably remembers long ass time ago... I think I remember that Colsan made a tweet about gathering a bunch of his fans to attack a cancer patient. Sure, that whole drama has been gone. But God, I still hate that person for what they did. You still, still, I still say you don't attack a cancer patient and don't mock them. That's a cancer patient. They're suffering life-threatening disease. And the best thing you can think of is, oh, I know, just send hate. That will sure brighten up their day. A more ultra drama in less than two minutes. Well, it's longer than that. Oh, God. The most toxic FNF mod ever made. Eight months ago. Um, oh, the HD mod drama. Versus Twitter drama. Literally someone just went and decided that, you know, I hate all this FNF drama. So I'm going to make a mod where we're literally just fighting the drama. With where boyfriend, where we and boyfriend are destroying the drama. Actually, you know what? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. If these... If these mod developers don't get their shit together, then we're literally not going to have any good mods. The only mods we're going to have are the really obscure mods like Rascal, Lara, and um, some others like Unified Beats. In fact, you know what? No, I have an I, I think I have an idea for an FNF mod where a ton of obscure mod characters go up against Boyfriend for one final rematch. It'll probably bring them back into the limelight and also introduce new FNF players to some older mods that us veterans know. The yeah. Sky FNF drama. That drama has been so old and it wasn't even by any of the people that made Sky. It was just a bunch of hooligans posting tons of not safe for work art that probably they made. So it's their fault. It's the, it's the hooligans. This is just sad. Miners, beware of fandoms. Why so many groomers slash drama? Ah. Dream is apparently Dream was apparently drama. So many so much drama. Can we just have like, you know, a month where no drama just happens? Like for fuck's sakes, like Jesus. Like I know we have an entire I know the FNF community is ginormous and a massive community, but come on. In a point like this, we don't need all this drama. If everyone got their shit together, then yeah, everything would at least be a bit more fine. And we wouldn't have to deal with this nonsense. But you know what? In the words of Amor, some people are just killing themselves because of the game. And some people are raging. Some people are hacking because in the words of a more ultra, which I guarantee, I tell you, a more said that. That's a fact. Because a more a long time ago, a more explained that the Geometry Dash community is prone to drama hacking and even people committing suicide. And look at the FNF drama. I can confidently say that a more, a more might have been right all those years ago because the FNF community. This is literally at this exact same point. Oh, and my video is starting to end. Well, bye. It's uh, two seconds left. Okay.